Hi, I'm Nancy Andrews along with Bonnie Stewart for This Week at the Capitol. Bonnie, as we know, the legislative session is underway. Can you fill the business community in on what happens during the session and what will happen in the coming months? Sure. We start off the legislative session with the governor giving his inaugural address. That more or less lays out his game plan for the upcoming legislative session. And as we all know, the state's fiscal situation is a big problem right now and something that they plan on focusing in on. Unfortunately, that budget address doesn't happen until February 16th. So until then, not a whole lot happens in terms of the spending and taxes issues. So right now, we're seeing all the other committees up at the Capitol, such as insurance, labor, education, start to raise, vote to address further or discuss further the different measures that they plan on taking up during the legislative session. So what measures have they brought up so far that are of importance to the business community? A number of measures have been, as we call it, raised, so they voted to discuss them further, but not a lot of information is available on those measures. That's because they raise what's called a concept. So they literally say, we're going to vote to discuss an act concerning an achievement gap, but we don't know what's in that bill. As we get that information about what's the guts of the bill, we'll share that with everybody. But at this point, we really only know a little bit of information about three committees. The first two, insurance and labor, unfortunately are bad news. The labor committees decided to move ahead with mandating paid sick leave, so paid time off. Extremely expensive and something that will actually increase the cost of employing people. So much for the jobs pitch. Unfortunately, the insurance committee's done something similar too. They've actually decided that they're going to move forward on a number of health insurance mandates. That would thereby increase the cost of health insurance, making it more expensive and therefore more expensive to employ people that you provide health benefits to. Unfortunately, not the move in the right direction, but that's where they're starting. On another side, though, the Education Committee has decided to move forward on an important measure, and that is trying to close the achievement gap with our high school um, students. And so that's very, very positive and something that we very much appreciate them trying to address. Okay. And, of course, we want to urge business people to get involved. Absolutely. The only way that we can represent you up at the Capitol is when we have a good understanding of how these measures impact you. So we'll be keeping you informed through our website, cbia.com, and through the different publications we send out. But we'd like you to respond. When you see something that you care about, let us know. Let us know how it impacts you, whether it be positive or negative, and make sure you communicate with your legislators about those issues as well. Thanks, Bonnie. Thank you.